for dinner a few weeks ago, yeah. you did say that you were a bit tired because you'd been out at a club giving your secrets away now, but you've been out at a club <laughs> till four o'clock that morning or something yeah. like that, wasn't it? Yeah. yeah. So <laughs> I yeah. thought he's the man to be doing that. <laughs> <laughs> I mean I don't I don't do it very often, but um when I need to do it, I, I do it, you know, I go out there and I meet DJs and I say, hey, listen, listen to this, you know, um, you know, and if you do play it, uh, just just give me a, you know, just just text me saying, you know, I, I'm just trying to get a feel of, you know, yeah. the audience feedback, you know, that sort of thing. Um, so yeah, I do, I do, I do do that, but I, I do, I hardly, yeah, it's it's hard because it, the next morning you're like, oh, shit. Yeah. Yeah. oh, absolutely, yeah, and especially really up until a day or two ago, yeah. um. I was still feeling a lot of jet lag, mainly in the mornings. I guess say waking up yeah. was, you know, much harder than usual. It takes about a week when you come back west to east, so from the States to Britain. Yeah. Uh, it takes about a week. And yet going there, you don't really get jet lag because, you know, we landed um, about nine o'clock, eight o'clock at night. You go through customs. We got a cab, a yellow cab. <laughs> Um, they laugh because they are um, a race unto themselves. But uh, about an hour to to uh, Manhattan, where we were staying. Yeah. Um, but then we were ready for bed. You know, the cab, the driver, and they're, they're excellent drivers in one way. In another way, they're probably very dangerous drivers because they cut in and they, they don't. No one seems to object they, because they all know what they're doing. But you, they fly along at incredible rates. So anyway, we got there, uh, and the time we were in our rooms, um, it was you know we went to sleep. So there was no jet lag at all. But coming back, it's been it's been pretty tough. So that doesn't help when uh, you're, you're trying to get things done. I know there was something, something, something that came to my mind, um, while while I was um, while I was watching that seven, you know, the the, the airplane, the Boeing thing. Um, I remember Trevor. You've got a song. You've got a song. Seven four seven. Yeah. Four seven. I think that's yes, absolutely. Think yeah, seven four seven. What 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 inspired you to write that? Um, that's a very good question. It was a few years ago I wrote that song. Um, yeah, I mean, I I've been on seven four sevens. I've been to America in them in times gone by. And they were very much the first of the big, uh, the big wide bodies in about, I, th I think it goes back 40 or 50 years now. But um, I suppose that plane made the world a much smaller place because it, it gave air travel to the masses because the airlines could carry far more people, you know, up to sort of four or 500 people. It made flying much cheaper. So, that aeroplane really changed the traveling culture and, ma and made package holidays to America, let alone Europe, Australia, even a possibility for most or for many people, I suppose, who were not necessarily very wealthy. So I, th I think it must be something like that. Um, it, it was a song. Yeah. I, I, <laughs> I quite like, I like that. So I like all my songs really, but I, I always sort of try and put in some, uh, what can I say? Not so much. Well, sometimes a hidden message, but I can. I like wordplay and saying things which perhaps have um, a different meaning. You know what I mean? I can't think of the expression, but um, yeah. I, I and I think seven four seven has got one or two of those in there. So I think it's a bit of a it's a light hearted song, but it just also heralds what was a great aeroplane and and change the culture of of traveling around the world yeah because because when i listened well i have this this, this this i'm going years back now i think about five six years when you released that, that yeah like, yeah it was yeah. so when i listened to it i thought because uh, i'm not a big fan of of airplanes as you know and uh, but when i listened to it i thought there was some sophistication about it you know the the way that it, the way that it was put together, and another thing that I thought was 
that there's got to be some uh, there was some courage <laughs> courage <laughs> yeah because i remember in, the in, yeah because i remember, remember the what? was just 747 well they won anything yeah. it was 747 and i thought that's some courage there you know to just title a song 747 and i knew i knew i i knew it was linked to an airplane uh, mm -hmm. but i didn't know at the time i didn't know it was a boeing and then i had to google it and i thought oh yeah it's all right so it's a boeing 747 that's 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 great but this guy's got it's got a lot of courage you know just writing about <laughs> and, 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 well, and, yeah i actually um i remember i actually sent a cd i mean that was more when cds were happening And wow. I sent one to Boeing, um, never got a reply at all. <laughs> but actually, the, uh, you know, something I've been aware of for quite a long time, but yeah. not at that time, There's Boeing has some sort of headquarters um, quite near to here where I live in wow. a place called Burgess Hill. Again, where I live, about four miles from Gatwick Airport. And... Uh, Burgess Hill is a little bit further, but not too far. So I can only imagine that's why they've got this really. I mean, I don't. They don't have aeroplanes there, but it's obviously one of their major European um, offices, I suppose. So if I thought about once I discovered that, I always said, "Oh, I'll, I'll get in touch with them to see if they want to use it." Especially as over the last uh, well couple of years, they've really airlines have been phasing out seven four sevens. I mean, British Airways doesn't fly any. 747s now nor does um i'm not sure the virgin atlantic ever had no they did i went on a virgin 747 so they had them but they don't fly them now um yeah. it's largely freighters 747 cargo planes that are still flying but otherwise it's faded faded away sadly all right yeah so trevor back to this question about the cut of time Do yeah you do people have cut off times? I don't. I don't know. Do you, well, do you, just to just to pick up on. Oh, there we go. Ah, there we go. Sorry about that. There we go. Yeah, man. Now, where were we? Uh, <laughs> yeah, <laughs> yeah. I think we. Were oh yeah, the 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 seven four seven has phased away, hasn't it? Yeah. yeah, yeah. I think was it was you talking about the seven four seven, Trevor? Yes, and we said that airlines don't really use it now for passengers, just for just for cargo, apparently. Oh, but yeah. Uh, yeah, it was a wonderful plane for really for over fifty years, I think. So uh, it was a, it was a game changer, a bit like the mobile phone. It changed the culture, didn't it? I think I changed the culture. Can you still hear me? I can still hear you. Yeah, you seem to be looking up at things. Yeah, <laughs> I was. I was just trying to <laughs> at least do me the honour of looking at me when I'm speaking. Not, not as if you're raising your eyes. <laughs> you probably I are. I apologise for that, Trevor. <laughs> yeah. yeah, right. Sorry. Sorry. No, I was, I was just going to say, yeah. talking of changing cultures. Um, I, I think, as you know, I, I've told you that I've got um, a, a small company promoting some of my songs um, yeah. and getting quite a lot of radio plays around the world, actually, um, which I hear some of them, but nothing like all of them. I don't always get told when it's on, but I knew there was one going to be on last night yeah. about um, eight o'clock, I think, or oh, that was a start of a two hour programme. And if I know something, if I know one of the songs is coming on, I tend to have it. Perhaps I'll put an earphone in my ear if whatever else I'm doing, and just sort of you know carry on with what I'm doing, sort of thing. And then if it comes on, well and good. But this this program started last night. It's a radio station somewhere in Kent, yeah. and uh, this guy was the presenter was very good. He was he was quite different really, uh, but he was he was very good. I, I won't say his name or anything, but. Um, he was in the, very early. He said, "I'll I'll tell you what we've got in the program." And he mentioned um, this uh, Trevor Gear doing a. We're playing his his song, which was released in um, 
I think 2020, he said it was discombobulated. We this one they're pushing at the moment for me. <laughs> anyway, after, after that, um, for the first, for for an hour, I so I had one ear covered with a little ear, ear, ear piece. Um, it was a completely punk music show, right? And and yeah, I mean, I I actually I like a dose of punk occasionally. I mean, I seriously, I I like music across the genres. I mean. Not you know, I, I like a bit of jazz, for example. I don't like jazz generally, but there are some jazz songs I like, and certainly punk. I, I like the rawness of it, the the attitude, the rebellious streak of it all. And yeah, I think listening to it a bit like uh, heavy metal, it, it can get something out of your system. So I, I enjoy these things. Um, so but anyway, the point was every song, and I think the Sex Pistols were in there, and every other well-known punk band and it, it was some good music i mean it as i say it was raw and had lots of energy and and great stuff but as as the first hour went by i was going just about to go by i thought if i hadn't heard him say he was in a play a song by trevor gear i th i would think this is the wrong program because you, <laughs> you don't expect you know my, if you like some of my I, I, some of mine can have energy like the like my song energy or bar blues and so on but it wouldn't normally be fit in with a punk show yeah. anyway so i thought and if having heard him mention my name i thought he's obviously going to play it it'd be interesting to know what he says and sometimes they usually say something quite good i suppose they feel they have to but anyway so he was a real character, this guy. In fact, when I looked him up, he's a drag queen by by profession. <laughs> if, but he 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 was so he was a real punky sound 70s 